Hi there, welcome to the Switched On Network. I'm Paul FP here with another quick tip. Uh, today this one's for one for the video editors out there and it's if you run into this particularly annoying problem when trying to export a project from Adobe Premiere Pro where you see this message, error compiling movie, you get a GPU render error because it says it's unable to process a frame. And you'll see down the bottom here that um, it's the rendering effect, uh, the Adobe Lumetri effect which is apparently causing the issue. Now it tells you uh, roughly around uh, on your timeline where the issue is taking place uh, but I wouldn't focus in too much on that because it can actually be not much to do with that actual particular segment of your timeline. You can try and tweak settings, turn off an effect, try again and then you'll just get exactly the same error but in a slightly different place. Now uh, this, uh, this problem has been going on for a little while. Uh, if you have a look over here uh, on the Adobe forums, uh, June 2017, uh, this quite long thread started and it seems that quite a lot of people have been having these problems uh, and it's been going on for a while it seems to be fixed in some cases but not in the others you can see it's even branched to a whole brand new discussion it's been going on that long now apparently this is a uh, a software bug uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro I don't know if that's true or not or if it's hardware related as well and apparently there are actually several different issues all but seem to have the same symptoms so that could make it make it more complicated to fix and diagnose etc the um, the surefire way of, of fixing this problem uh, is to turn off CUDA and just export using CPU only. Obviously that's not ideal if you've spent a lot of money on a good graphics card to decrease your export times and potentially increase the quality of the video as well. So uh, obviously you want to find a, a better way to do that. Now before we jump into the solution I just want to give a very quick shout out to this video sponsor Videoblocks. Uh, Videoblocks is a stock footage website where you pay a single annual membership fee and then you can download as much as you like from their catalogue of video footage and After Effects templates. Everything you download is yours to keep forever and it's for use royalty free in any of your projects going forward. You've got things like video footage from all these different categories here and um, motion backgrounds which are handy for green screen stuff and there's also lots of After Effects templates uh, to give a really uh, tweaked and professional look to all of your footage. Now you can get a seven day free trial of the video blocks. You don't have to pay anything at all. Try it for seven days and anything you download is still yours to keep after that trial. So if you want to have a look at that, just check out the link in the video description below. Sign up for your free trial and you'll be supporting this channel as well. Now I'll just show you the actual bit on the timeline where this is uh, playing up. So it's at 10, 55 and 14 frames. So if I go to there, uh, 55. It's this sort of bit here that goes from there where uh, so you deserve it. I mean there's nothing particularly special going on there. Um, we could turn off Lumetri but then that would, uh, the way I've done my nesting of my timelines and everything, and that would turn it off for absolutely everything, uh, which we obviously don't want to do. So I'm going to show you what works for me. It might not work for you because it might be something completely different causing the error for you but uh, the thing that worked for me was simply create a new sequence and copy and paste everything into that and then export again so to do that it's obviously dead easy uh, just go to file new sequence and select one with uh, the right settings uh, this was recorded on a DSLR 1080p 25 frames a second I'll call this uh, new attempt there we are ok on there then what you want to do is go into your sequence that's giving you grief and do uh, control A and then control V to select and go into new attempt there. Make sure uh, you're right at the very beginning of the sequence, control V to paste and then you've got a brand new sequence and uh, most of which it reckons is still rendered. Uh, if you still have issues after this I can show you something else as well which might work um, but then if you try and export that then it, it should work. One thing to point out if you're doing this though is listen to the uh, the balance of the audio tracks on here. Plus it's often reckoned that Google f and now obviously listen to the balance of the audio tracks on here. So you're obviously going to need to remix your audio and set your levels again just copy them over from your other sequence. Obviously then just go to file export media export it using uh, the same preset you were using before and that should work for you. Now if that doesn't work what you might want to try is obviously reboot the computer because that always uh, is always worth a go if you try turning it off and on again it's the oldest joke in the book but it does work 
what you can also do is uh, delete all the render preview files and try making them again in case that helps. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, uh, and that does depend really on whether you're using the previews when you export as well. Uh, but I'll show you how to do that if you're not sure. So you go up to sequence and then delete render files. You can either um, delete just into out, so if you're just doing a little section, or you can delete the render files for the whole thing there. I'm not going to do that now, but um, uh, if you do that, then re-render your whole timeline and then export. That might solve your problem and it might stop you tearing your hair out. It might not though, but hopefully uh, it works for me, so it might work for you. Uh, so that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below to let me know it's been handy. And whilst you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the Switched On Network to get all our videos. As soon as they go live, we're going to be doing lots more quick tips just like this one. And you can also have a look at some of our other videos that are on screen now. So thanks for watching.